vlogging friends and welcome back to my channel. It is new pack day and I'm so excited to be starting this home dream decorator. Happy dream home decorator. There we go. I think that's the pack name. Um, with Miss Kiwi Lacewing Glitter Mirror. She is the founder of my Lisa Frank challenge that I wrote. I'll have the um, information linked down below for the challenge. Um, and I actually made her in my last video, which I'll link below as well. And you guys really liked her vanilla look, so that's what I went with. And I gave her a few different cute outfits and some more um, Lisa Frank Frank-esque makeup. I love these little rainbow speckles. And I also did some recolors that I will link down below as well of some awesome like 90s vibe clothes that are like all rainbow and Lisa Frank. Um, so Miss Kiwi here is um, based off of Dottie who is a Dalmatian and so that's why she has this kind of Dalmatian print top. Um, and let me show you a couple more of her outfits that I'm really proud of. I love this outfit so much. She's definitely going to be switching between these everyday outfits all the time. This one also gives me such kind of a 90s vibe. And then I did give her an outfit with um, this jumpsuit from the new pack. I pictured her wearing this when she goes and does her... Um, you know, renovations and stuff. I'm excited for one Sims 4 studio update so I can do some uh, custom recolors of the new stuff because there's some really cute tops. Um, so anyway, this is Kiwi. I was really sad that they didn't come out with any new uh, traits or aspirations. So I gave her the Mansion Baron, the Self-Assured, Snob, and Kleptomaniac traits. And then this is her brother, Franklinite, like Lisa Frank, Franklinite, that's where he gets his name from. Um, and he is, um, his aspiration is to be a master mixologist, and he is a goofball, a foodie, and jealous. And this is what he looks like. Um, I also gave him some a little bit of makeup, and these two are twins. And so, um, we're going to go ahead and jump in and I'll give you some details about the first generation um, as we, we get into things in terms of what these guys are going to be doing. Alright, here they are in their new little lot in Willow Creek. Alright, so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of background of this challenge. Um, this will be linked down below, but this is the Lisa Frank Sims 4 Legacy Challenge that I wrote. Um, there's, you know, the typical legacy rules. And then the cool thing about this challenge is it's an arborist challenge, meaning that you can pick any of these characters to start with. You can either pick them from the side or based off of the pack here. I'm just starting with the first one, which is Spotty and Dotty. So let me go ahead and read through a little bit of this for you guys and then we will talk about what this means. So it was said your parent had the eye and could make the everyday seem magical and beautiful. I guess the apple didn't fall far from the tree. Your parent found that they were often forced into going camping even though they would rather not. So instead you and your sibling were raised to follow your own path and dreams even if that path was reckless. You are a dynamic duo together and the world better watch out for the two of you one way or the other. So you get to pick your sibling and so each of them have kind of a different um, track based off of who you pick. So Dottie is going to be essentially who Kiwi takes after and then Franklinite is Spotty. Um, but I'm going to be using Dottie as my main character but of course Spotty is around. So she had the self-assured snob and kleptomaniac traits and her aspiration is a mansion baron and her career is the interior designer career. Um, so growing up, Spotty was always the mischievous one and got themselves and Dottie into lots of mischief. Spotty was known for their mischievous ways, but sometimes Dottie was actually the mastermind behind the mischief, especially, especially if it involved stealing. Dottie has a bit of a secret klepto inside of her that only Spotty truly knows about. Together they knew that they could get away with just about anything because their parent didn't want to hinder their creative expression, whatever trouble that may mean. Well, one day in their late teens, early young adult years, they got into some pretty big trouble. So we have to move into an empty lot with no house and start with 
uh, no more than 10,000. And if you want a real challenge, you can start at $0 or you can move into an empty apartment and start with 1,000. We're gonna be going through Dottie stuff. So I'll let you guys read through this more if you're interested. Of course, I'd love it if you also wanna do this challenge. You should definitely let me know, tag me using the Lisa Frank legacy hashtag. But anyway, I picture these two. As it said, um, Kiwi here is a little bit mischievous in a more secretive way. So her and her brother kind of have gotten into trouble over the years and um, she is a klepto so she's kind of stolen some things and so I picture you know when they were kind of exiting high school um, you know they more or less got caught stealing something honestly I picture her you know like she essentially stole not like a big thing but like you know like stole some expensive like prom dress type stuff and um, got caught but the family kind of worked to cover it up but basically her parents were like you know what I'm so fed up with you two you're always getting into trouble like you need to go face the real world and see that it's you know how hard it's gonna be and so they kind of were kicked out her and her brother and they're twins and so they're sticking together so that is where they find themselves is they kind of move to this town of Willow Creek fresh start no one knows who they are no one knows their you know mischievous background so as the challenge said we're gonna start off with like very little money and it said no more than 10,000 I don't know that I want to start them off with like no no money so I think I'm gonna give them 2,000 like a thousand each you know what I mean like they're it's basically rags to riches start for them they got kicked out their parents said okay here's a thousand dollars for each of you you know we don't want you to be completely helpless but you need to do some growing up and learn how hard it is you know you've been handed so much in your life um, and you've taken that for granted and you guys are you know mischievous go realize how hard it is to make it in the real world. So obviously we can't afford much, but I wanna make sure that we get them um, some beds maybe. Although I'm thinking maybe we should start them off in a tent. So this is their little humble beginnings. Um, they, you know, have 600 bucks left after that. This will, you know, get them by, but they're, they're gonna be in trouble. So um, Kiwi here has the Mansion Baron aspirations. So we're starting off this small lot. Like obviously they couldn't afford to live in a really nice neighborhood. They're kind of, you know, slumming it a little bit. Obviously they are way worse off than their neighbors. And then hopefully the goal is to move somewhere nicer as they earn some money. Um, so I'm super excited for this challenge and I hope you guys are as well. And let's go ahead, let's get them some careers. So Kiwi is of course gonna be joining the new um, interior design career interior decorator sorry so she's gonna be an interior decorator then we're gonna have Franklinite join the mixologist career oh, I forgot it's the culinary first okay ah look at them so cute so he's supposed to prepare food or make some drinks and I think we need to get her a gig so um, she's not going to be able to do a whole lot right now. It looks like her only option is to work for the party house um, household and do a room renovation. Um, doesn't look like it's a, any specific room, it'll be open ended so we'll go ahead and grab that gig and that's gonna be tomorrow at 9 a.m. So I'm super excited to do that. So these two are gonna stick together. They're gonna make it work in this new world and um, work their way up. So Franklinite is a little bit mischievous. It looks like he's already uh, being a little mischievous on his own. <laughs> What's that spot gonna, cause it's <laughs> spotty and dotty. <laughs> So she does need to work on the photography skills. So she's gonna be like, hey, we practice taking pictures. Can I take a picture of you, Franklinite? So I sent them both off to go do a little bit of some collecting, trying to earn a little bit of money, you know? So <laughs> whatever we can get, 
we have some humble beginnings to start from and neither of them work today so we gotta start somewhere <laughs> is that our uh, welcome wagon looks like it okay well then uh, let's not be rude neighbors we don't want you know to start off with some bad impressions so let's come invite our neighbors inside <laughs> I don't know if they'll necessarily want to come into our tent though getting some frogs going I'd love to find another one so that we can start breeding them oh perfect there's another frog right here and we have this cute little community garden place I don't know that anything is ready to be harvested she's a cutie summer holiday i don't remember her okay kiwi you can also come here and talk to your neighbors let's go ahead and breed some frogs sun surfer frog okay oh we have an eggplant whirl frog worth a hundred bucks that's such a good one and the sun surfer frogs 125 wow oh my gosh we got so lucky with those we're gonna be rich off breeding frogs, girl. Get ready to move into that mansion. Look, she knows it too. <laughs> she knows she did good. Oh, you know what we should do? Like, technically they're not living in a house because, um, <laughs> I, uh, you know, they're in a tent. But if we place down some fake, you know like a fake little area somewhere over here we should be able to technically count as a tiny home so this way they'll be able to work on their relationships faster um, don't worry I know all my houses and my saves are tiny homes I don't actually plan on keeping them in a hacked tiny home or anything like that um, I just figured since they literally have like no home right now then they should at least get the the bonus from that until they make enough money that they don't need that and we'll have a bigger house I like want to be besties with Summer I feel like she's such a cutie we'll give her a cute makeover and we'll be besties so we're gonna have them uh, cloud gaze so that they uh, become fast friends <laughs> she's really just not gonna give us that fruitcake so we're gonna <laughs> mess with her a little bit. I feel like his go-to joke is definitely gonna be the what's that spot because he's spotty. <laughs> She's talking about her dreams and it involves money. Yeah, that's Kiwi for you. Oh, share the photos you took of your brother. Like, oh, isn't he cute? You two should totally date. You can become my sister. <laughs> um, she could even propose her crazy scheme like, all right, I know. Isn't he cute? We'll become sisters. Ah, Summer's okay with it though. All right, so the welcome wagon is officially over, so I'm gonna send them out. <laughs> we can ask about favorite color. Summer, what's your favorite color? Yeah, 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 there's a celebrity. What's her favorite color? Is she gonna tell us? <laughs> she just dislikes the color brown. She's okay with everything else. Girl after our own heart. That must mean she likes all the colors. All right, so let's try to distract the bartender. And while she's talking to the bartender, you're gonna come sneak back here so you can make stuff with the bar. <gasps> okay, go, make your move, man practice making drinks <laughs> success I told you these two are a dynamic duo <laughs> she distracts the bartender so he can go work pretend to work the the bar I love it <laughs> she's like goodbye thank you <laughs> oh, I love it they totally knew what they did too mission is a success <laughs> everyone's like dude you're holding up the bar we just went some drinks Ah, Kiwi, come fertilize the tree for me. <laughs> it looks like your brother also needs to. You can come sit here so your sister can eat as well. She'll have some yogurt. Smelly poo bush. <laughs> so we did get super lucky with finding some frogs yesterday. and We got some really nice expensive ones, 125 and 100. I'm going to try breeding two of the sun surfer frogs. Together. Oh, it looks like we did get a third sun surfer, so that's a good combo. <laughs> the bush has been used before. Yep, that would be your sister. 
he is kind of smelly so <laughs> after all that trying yesterday to fix those drinks he, they had the scheme it got him behind the bar <laughs> didn't even count i love that they're kind of mischievous together it's really kind of cute all right time to design i'm so excited let's go to work <laughs> after all that i send her alone <laughs> nope i don't think so let's go see what this new career is about all right, so we are at the party house. Looks like she's doing a little work on her sketch pad. Taking before and after photos to document your work as an interior decorator is important. Well, let's go knock on the door, Kiwi, and start working on our first little assignment together. Yay, okay. <laughs> it's a big house, huh? Well, let's go ahead and let's talk to a few of the um, household members and get to know what they want to do. And then we'll pick a room that we feel like will be the easiest because, you know, like if they have certain skills that they like, then maybe we'll try to make over that room. All right, Eva, what do you have? Ask to see Simterist board. That's cute. That would be one way to figure out what she likes. All right, what do we have? All right, so she likes robotics, interesting. How about you? Um, let's do a friendly introduction. Um, discuss designs. <laughs> Gotta come closer so we can really talk it out. She's like really not interested in talking to us, so rude. Come on, where are your interior designers? Stop staring off in the distance, like give me your full attention. Let's pick out a color palette. Color is life, girl. Color is life. Okay, she likes the color pink. Good choice, girl. Um, are you gonna be able to discuss decor trends with me? All right, what do we think? What's our third thing to incorporate? He dislikes modern decor. So let's see, our budget is $6,000. That's pretty decent, but not like tons of money. All right, so I feel like Kiwi would pick to do this room because, you know, it's like the most bland room. It's like very neutral. And so in terms of like her aesthetic and since it's open up to her interpretation anyway, like I feel like she would just be like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> she dislikes the decor. She doesn't like black, so I bet that's why. Uh, but she, my guess is, well, I guess that's it. She would not like this room, but... I feel like this one just feels more bland in general. So let's take a few before and after shots. All right, so now we can enter build mode and make renovations. All right, so let's send our client away so we can start uh, making some decoration choices. So since Kiwi here is a klepto, one of her little um, objectives for this challenge will be to steal something from each of the homes she decorates, like as almost like a souvenir or a token. So, um, and part of me doesn't know whether, like it doesn't necessarily have to be in the room that she's doing. We're gonna just, we're gonna attempt to swipe this light. Like, everyone else is out in this room, so I feel like we shouldn't do it out there. <laughs> she successfully swiped it. Awesome. Alright, so I'm just curious to see what modern decor means. <sighs> so, of course, modern is pretty much all of the new pack stuff, which is unfortunate. We're supposed to kind of avoid using this stuff. Alright. Let's go ahead and get rid of a lot of the stuff in here. I'm gonna go ahead and keep the bed because it did have a pink swatch. Okay, I think I wanna do a cute accent wall like that. Oh, I don't want modern, <laughs> whoops. Um, let's go for some nice brick. So we're gonna give her some cute brick stuff for the house and then it will just do like a basic wall here okay we're totally gonna actually all right so we're gonna go ahead and get this robotics 
uh, table in here, which is definitely not ideal, but um, it is what they want. I just don't want it like right in front of the window. Okay, this is so weird with that in front of the window, but I feel like that's gonna be one of the best options. And we'll just put some pretty curtains like that, maybe. Ooh. We'll just make it really fancy with curtains so that it like looks purposeful. <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and give her two of these. Some cute little plants. Some cute flowers. Okay, let's do some artwork. And we actually are really under budget. I hope that they appreciate that. You would think so, right? I don't like this window here at all. We'll do that. I'm sure there's a pink swatch. Oh, it's locked. Darn, that would have been cute. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, I just keep picking all the locked objects. Maybe a little weird, but we're doing it anyway. Oh my gosh, everything is locked. Okay, I think this is looking cute in pink. <laughs> Of course, it's like opposite girls that liked pink compared to um, <laughs> the one that wanted the robotics. So, like, <laughs> the pink room is gonna go to someone else, and yet she'll come in and use the robotics table. But you know, that's what the they get for you know, and not letting me just focus on the once of one sim. <laughs> okay. I swear sometimes I could actually build, but uh, this is definitely an interesting room. I will be the first to admit. We're gonna put this up here just to help hide the fact that I kind of did something weird. I don't know. I think it's cute. Okay. Um. <laughs> I think I think that's good. All right, so now we need to take after photos. <laughs> Wish the door wasn't open. I don't know what else to take a picture of. Let's reveal the newly decorated place. All right, so this wall became this one. This became this. This became this, and I know this doesn't actually link, but I want to show off that picture. <laughs> uh, okay, everyone come back. Let me show off your house. Yes, let's host the event. So let's reveal the renovated space. Come on in, check out your space. Okay, before and after. I love that they do this little slideshow. It's so cute. It's definitely much brighter, which Kiwi likes since she is all about the color. So this brought her great joy to freshen up the space. And she's well under budget, so I'm sure they'll appreciate that. Show off some objects. So check this out, because one of you guys really liked, I think it was her, I think Jade, you really liked the robotics, so enjoy this, and I don't know if this counts, but check this out too, it's a pink bed, let's do a nice hip bump, <laughs> woohoo, renovation's over, what do you guys think, woohoo, okay, I think she likes the painting, Everyone really likes cupcakes around here. All right, time for the final reveals. I think they have like a little thing that pops above their head when they're ready. Oh, one of them's ready to talk. Where are you? Okay. Ask for her final verdict. What do you think? She loves it. Yeah. She's like, we will hire you again. I love that I get, <laughs> I don't have to use my bedroom space for this <laughs> science thing. <sighs> Thank you. Okay, what about you? Do you? This is pretty much your bedroom. What do you think? She doesn't seem too impressed. You, I guess you did a good job. It's just not my taste. Technically, all the boxes are checked. Just not feeling it. Ah, 
All you gave me is that you liked pink. I made it very pink. Oh, Paulo is still looking around. But he's giving us a hug. That has to be a good sign. This was a lot to take in. What did the first girl say? I don't even see her thing. He's very friendly and hu hugs a lot. I feel like we didn't get credit for the first girl when we asked for her final verdict. I mean, she seemed like she liked it, but I don't see her pop up anywhere. What do you think, Marcus Flex? Is this your house? He seems to be into it. Well, that went nicely. The clients seem to really like the new layout. Woohoo! So we got 712 bucks. That is awesome. And our professional reputation improved significantly, even though we technically stole something. All right. We were promoted to interior design technician. Kiwi Lacewing has been promoted to interior design technician. She also received the following $370 issues of interior design magazines. She may also find more challenging and constraining interior decorator gigs from clients. Sweet. So let's see if we can take a new gig. Oh yeah, we have a lot more that we can accept. So we can do... Um, Okay, all of them are available tomorrow morning. So we can do a kitchen renovation, a room renovation, or a room re renovation. I'm all for a kitchen renovation. Plus that's the biggest budget and the biggest payout. So let's do it. Well, you guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of my Lisa Frank Legacy. Uh, again, the link for the challenge is, will be down below, as well as I also linked the CC that I used here um, in that document, so you can check it out there. I haven't done like a official public post, but it's, it's all ready to go. Meshes are linked on my website and all of that. So anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this series so far. Um, I'm probably going to record another episode today if I'm being honest. So any feedback anyway, please leave it, but I probably won't get to it until at least the episode three. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing. Happy simming. I hope you're enjoying this new pack.